Meow. Meow. Hi, it's Penny Bowden, crazy cat artist. I like this stink face kitty. Kind of looks like waving to a waving cat. Just paying careful attention to the angle of the ears and the just getting the angle right for everything on the face and that goes a long way to getting the right perspective on what some might find is a difficult perspective. Just look for shapes and angles. I am going two and a half times the speed here and voicing over. Shape that muzzle there. You can see I got that paw a little bit high up the first time and then moved it down. Just plant kitty in some grass there too. I'm just kind of feeling out where the eye goes around the curvature of the head. And slowly comes to life with those facial features. I was aiming for that stink face look. And we just want a tiny hint of that other eye because you wouldn't see very much of it at all. Just want to show those claws there. Make sure it looks convincing. Just want a suggestion of the paw parts there. Otherwise it kind of stands out too much and takes over the whole drawing. If you add too much detail to a simple drawing, then it just doesn't fit, does it? And less is more. I just want the gesture of Kitty's expression. Took me many years to learn that less is more, not just in drawing, but in life too, I'm convinced. And I'm speeding it up really fast, eight times the speed here now. So what you'll see me more than anything do here is make the whiskers. And I wasn't happy with them, so I redid them. They weren't aiming. These whiskers I like, but these ones, I, the ones on our left-hand side, I felt were aiming in the wrong direction for that stink face because Kitty's projecting those whiskers forward. So I got rid of them, had to redo Kitty's face a little the tabby markings and put them back in. Still wasn't super happy, happy with the whiskers overall, but it's learning, practice. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next time.